If you've spent any time poking through the history of this channel, you've seen that I'm a big fan of Rotring pens. So I wanted to take a look at my newest edition, which is the Rotring Trio pen. And that's this right here. Uh, a while back, I took a look at the Rotring 600 Trio, which is much older, much more expensive, much harder to find. This pen is available on Amazon and other retailers right now for about $30. I bought this one from Japan. And again, it cost me about, I think $28. And this is, as it says, a premium multifunction pen with a full metal body and a magic view mechanism, which we'll get into in a minute. Uh, basically, it's a three-way pen with D1 refills and a pencil. If you go back and you look at my older Rotring 600 video, you'll see that this trio is very different from that trio. That was a Rotring 600 style, so hexagonal design. Uh, this is clearly a newer, more modern design. Uh, but you know that one you might have to buy used for $150 or $250, depending on condition. This one is available for $30, and it's functionally a very similar pen. This is also very similar to the Rotring Trio Executive Pen, which came out in like the late 90s, early 2000s, except that's chromed, and that thing sells for about $100 in good condition. Again, this is 30, and it's the same functionality. So looking at the pen, it's really hard to focus on this material, so just bear with me. Uh, we see it has uh, basically an aluminum type feel to it. I don't know what the metal is, but it, it feels like it's aluminum. And it's a retractable pen that you push this to push the ink back in. So it uses a system where it has little indicators here. So basically you could see red ink, 0.5 millimeter pencil, black ink. This one does not have a stylus. As you turn this, you could feel and possibly you could even hear the mechanism. And you're just activating the uh, point inside. So basically, you turn this up, you want the black pen, you push it, you get a black pen. Turn it here to red, and now here to pencil, we'll push it, you get the pencil. It's very simple, a lot of companies use that mechanism. The clip is important here because the clip is how you pop it back. You can not push it. I thought you could. Uh, let me see. You can obviously with the pencil, you could push it to get more lead down, but uh, you can't push it to get the pen back. Some models that you have a, uh, a release with the clip, you can also push it. That is not the case here. So uh, it has a matte metal body, sort of aluminum powder coaty type feel to it. Grip is the same material, incredibly resistant to focus, which I guess might not be an issue for you. Metal on metal, so it's pretty much all metal build quality. And here we see standard D1 refills. Uh, the red one has a little red marker, which is cool. The black one doesn't, not really sure why that is. And then you can see the way the mechanism works is it basically, as you activate it, it pushes that piece on the bottom and that's what pushes. So red, black, pencil. Grip, very simple. Just a, I want to guess aluminum with a steel insert, but it's really hard to tell. But it's, it is all metal, no rubber here, nothing like that really nice, clean build quality, but it's kind of, uh, it's a little bit bland and sort of like sterile feeling. It's like a pen from the future, which is quite cool and quite handsome, but it doesn't have a lot of character to it. There is, in keeping with the name, Rotring, a red ring, so that's there, but very else, very little else in the way of character. It's a functional clip in that it's the release, but it also works quite nicely and has a, a, lar a large throw, which is nice. The button on the top is metal and removing it, you'll see your standard eraser and you can remove that to put your lead in there. So no surprises there. 
looking through the materials, since I actually saved the box this time, uh, has the standard modern Rotring box, which is this triangular case, which is quite cool. Uh, no real material in here. Rotring since 1928. Uh, born of the Bauhaus Design School, modernist art. It's no surprises here if you've ever read through Rotring's website. There are some instructions. The instructions are usually not specific to the pen, and that's the case here. We could run through some of Rotring's modern line. So the Art Pen, the Rapid Pro, the 600, so on and so forth. And then uh, your warranty information. Uh, that's all we got. It doesn't really say what the Magic View is specifically. I think the Magic View is basically you don't look inside the pen. It's basically like you see this, and if you push, you view this, that is what activates. And it works really well, but I don't think it's magic. I'll confirm that later. Basically, uh, yeah, face desired mode icon and push the button. So no real surprise there, it works well. A lot of pens use this at this point. Rotring is using this mechanism for like at least 15 years at this point. I just wanna do a quick comparison to other pens. Here we have a Rotring 800, which sells for between about $30 nowadays. It was selling for way more, but now prices have dipped a lot. So you can get a Rotring 800 for a very similar price. Obviously it's not a multi-pen, but if you're looking to spend $30 on a Rotring, it's certainly gonna come up. And that's a little bit smaller pen. I think a nicer design. Again, I think it has a lot more character than the Rotring Trio, but that's just me. And then here, if you want something more in that price, in the, uh, starting at the price, in the size class, you have the Rotring Rapid Pro. And the Rapid Pro, again, is a single color ballpoint like the Rotring 600, but it's uh, sized more in line with the Quattro and the Trio. Again, this is the Trio. I'll do the Quattro later on. Do a quick writing sample. This is the Rotring Trio and it's a black red misclick there, it was my fault though. You have to click the pencil a little bit harder. And 0 0.5 millimeter multi pen. I'm going to start a multi-pencil, but it's a multi-pen. Uh, as for writing, uh, I find the grip to be a little slippery. There's, no, there's nothing on it. It's just a sort of matte aluminum type feel with no real grip. It, it's quite slippery. Not terrible, which is a pretty good diameter. And it, it's like, there's just not a lot to give you purchase to. It's like the exact opposite of a Rotring 600 or even more so the Rotring Rapid Pro. The Rapid Pro is knurled like the 600, but it has a sharper, grippier knurl. The newer 800s have a very flat, modest knurl, which is probably my preference. This grippier knurl is, is cool, but it's not something you wanna use all day. This, again, exact opposite, just a smooth, it's not gloss, but it's a smooth matte. It's really what I would call a satin finish. <clears throat> As for Rotring's D1 refills, they're totally adequate. They're not in any way extraordinary, just a solid ballpoint refill. You can, if you want, replace them, obviously. Uh, and it's gonna be, I believe, the skinnier size of a D1, so that's a like 2.0 millimeter instead of a 2.1 or 2.2, something like that. I've covered this in previous videos. They're skinnier and fatter <clears throat> D1 refills. This is the skinnier one. So you can get other options in there if you want to experiment, but you have to make sure you get the right ones. The Rotring ones are, are very fine for data to use. They're not in any way special. They're not uh, too good, but they are reliable. <clears throat> and they hold up as well as a standard D1. There's not a lot of ink in the D1, obviously. So that about covers it. That's a Rotring Trio. It's an interesting, but somewhat bland pen. It's not 
a multi pen I would recommend. I've covered a lot of multi pens here, so shop around, check out some videos. <clears throat> Thanks for watching.